Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing another Turner Syndrome video. have a little bit of a different Turner Syndrome video than I normally do. Usually I talk about a topic within Turner Syndrome, um, some kind of health issue that it brings up or just the way it changes your life, but I actually really, really had the heart to make a video geared towards parents or potential parents or people that are around people that are becoming parents, any anything that would connect you with little kids and the possibility of noticing signs and symptoms of Turner Syndrome in them. So I wanted to kind of give the top five signs to look for for Turner Syndrome. So the first biggest sign to look for is height and growth. Um, if they are not growing at a normal rate, that is a major sign that something is off in some kind of way. And very, very easily could be leaning towards Turner Syndrome because of the growth deficiency in women with Turner Syndrome and girls with Turner Syndrome. And usually that's the first sign earlier on is they do not grow as well on their own. The second sign, which can also be a first indicator, is not starting puberty on their own, so delayed puberty. If they do not start going through it on their own, if they don't start showing the early signs of it even, that is a sign that you might wanna be testing for Turner Syndrome just to make sure and rule that out. I have heard a lot of stories of girls finding out that they have Turner Syndrome that way and that being kind of the big thing that made them go to the doctors and say, okay, what's going on? This is weird, like this isn't normal. And at least getting it checked to make sure. The third sign I really wanted to talk about, some physical attributes, some physical characteristics that typically come up in girls with Turner Syndrome. So that can be the neck, that can be droopy eyes, that can be hairline, there tends to be a weird hairline, anything like that can also be signs depending on how they manifest themselves and how intense and noticeable they are can be an indicator of if it's a big enough thing to ask about. I also, for physical characteristics, had somebody mention in the comments the elbows. It's called cubitus valgus and it's where the elbows turn out more than normal. I have actually not seen a lot of conversation about this physical characteristic specifically. Usually it's more about the neck or the droopy eyes or the weird hairline or height that gets talked about for physical characteristics. But that is another thing along with the nails and other little things like that. I will link a Mayo Clinic article that lists a bunch of them below. There's a ton of them and they all seem like little things but when you add them all together it can show that something is off. So these aren't in every case, as I've said, every case is very different. A lot of these I don't have. Um, I don't have the droopy eyes. My hairline is kind of weird. A lot of these, they have very broad descriptions of what the symptom is just because every case is different. So it doesn't look the exact same in every case. And that can be a little interesting to figure out. But I will link that below. Go check that out for the full physical characteristics and kind of get more of an idea of what to look for for those. The fourth kind of major sign I wanted to give is actually geared towards the learning disorder that's associated with Turner Syndrome, which is NVLD, nonverbal learning disorder. It has to do with why I suck at math and why a lot of Turner's girls struggle with math. And depth perception, understanding really obscure, broad concepts 
things like that are made difficult by it. And again, this can look different in every case, but that is definitely something to look out for. Struggling with math is a pretty majorly common thing from what I've heard. I know it's been pretty major in my life. So look out for that as well. And the fifth and final sign I wanted to give is infertility. If you aren't diagnosed till later, infertility has been some of the ways I've heard women finding out they have it. And usually this is in the case of mosaic, but it has been what sparks that testing and what makes them become aware that they have it. So it can be important to pay attention to if your cycle is regular, if you have a cycle on your own, things like that are early signs of it. And then when it's not happening, things just aren't occurring in the right way as far as getting pregnant. Depending on what happens and what the circumstance of the infertility is, it can be a reason to test for it. And I'm sure a doctor would guide you in that and say, mm, yeah, let's test just to be sure. Just to rule that out. And I don't think that's a bad thing. I think that's good to make yourself knowledgeable. So I would look out for that too because that is one of the biggest, I don't want to say the biggest, but one of the biggest symptoms of Turner syndrome is the infertility. And that goes along with the hormone levels. So knowing what your hormone levels are at, knowing where your own natural hormone production is, could be very, very important and key to being aware of what your body's doing and being aware if it would be helpful and necessary to test for Turner syndrome. So those are my big five symptoms. This could apply to women struggling with certain aspects that this has to do with, and this could be for parents who have just been told that their child has it, or if you are wondering what is going on with your child, if they're portraying things that you aren't sure what's happening or what's wrong or what to do, if these signs or symptoms are what you're seeing, that could be an indicator that you might want to take them and have them tested for it. Just to see, it doesn't mean they'll have it at all. That is not a guarantee if they have these things. That does not necessarily mean that. But that could be a very good indicator that it would be helpful to have them tested for it just to make sure and know whether or not that's what's happening. And then if not, you ruled it out. And if so, you know and you have that much more knowledge in order to help them. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope this helped you in some way and you got something from it. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with everybody. And if you are not already subscribed to my channel, click the screen and subscribe. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.